Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Catherine, your host. Good morning to the leader in you. Today is a phenomenal day. We're almost to the close of the month of March, and I hope everyone has had an impactful month, a purposeful month, a month that you have made strides and accomplishments. So today, 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 we are going to be talking about building your own table. You know, sometimes we in business, we feel that certain doors have not been opened for us. We feel that we have not been invited to that particular table that we feel if we get to that table and get that specific invite, it's a wrap. Our business is going to go to the next level. But the the statement that I want to start off today with, when there is no seat at the table for you, don't get upset about it. It is the push that you and I both need to get out of our comfort zone, build your own table and keep it moving. So just for the next few moments, that is what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about building your own table, talking about getting outside of your comfort zone, talking about when you don't get that invite to the table, that should ignite something in you. That should push you to want to go that much harder to build your own foundation. A lot of times we're waiting on that one specific call, waiting on that one specific invite, but it, it, it is not materializing because that's not where your alignment is supposed to be. That is not the thing that's going to propel your business forward. And if, in fact, you do align with that, actually, it would detract from your forward movement. Possibly that is why you did not get that invite to that particular table that you thought you should be at because it is pushing you. It is prompting you to build your own table. When we think about the word build, it oftentimes talk about construction. We can think about building a house for an example, right? We know when someone's building a house, they have to lay the foundation. They, you know, if you ever go to a community where they're building fresh houses from the bottom up, when you look at how they have to frame it and all the intricate parts that go into it before it becomes beautiful and you don't even see the interior behind the wall, right? That's what I want to talk about behind the walls of things that no one see when you're building the business. Right. It's the, the movable parts that you're putting together each and every day. It's the materials that you're using. It's the ingredients that you're using to build your business model. See, when you don't get that seat at the table, it makes you stronger. It intensifies. I got to get up and make it work attitude. OK, it stretches your dimensions. It stretches you proportionately to grow to a capacity that you would not have grown to if you got that invite to that table. Listen, when you don't get that invite to the table, you start to develop your own sense of style and you form your business out of nothing and you make it into something, right? Think about when they're constructing a car. Same analogy when they're building a house. You know, if you ever see something, you can see online before it all comes together into that beautiful final product of a car, like the, the fresh off the new edition, uh, 2021, it was that frame that looked like nothing. No wheels was on it. No, 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 nothing. It, it was just bare. So don't despise your season of bear, right? Don't despise your season of bear. Don't despise that season because that is the season that's going to take you to other dimensions that you didn't think you were going to be able to go to. See, you have to be able to get to a barren state sometime. You have to get naked with your business, yes, and, and be honest with yourself with where you are in your business. Be transparent with yourself, but then you have to get to a state that you know that you are the owner, that you know that you have been called to be the CEO of your company, and nobody else can build it for you. You have to have a certain state of mind. You have to have a right of possession of your business. In other words, I know I have been called to this business. I know I have been prepared to be the CEO of this company and I'm not going to allow anything to deter me. You have to have a fixed state of mind. You also have to know that as being the owner, there's pros, there's cons in building a business. We all know that there's pros and cons in being a leader. Some of you uh, may be building a team or an organization and you're like, you know what? Something is wrong with the foundation. Something is wrong with the foundation. I'm not sure. Sometimes we got to go back and check our foundation 
check our foundation of our leadership capacity all the time. I do it all the time. I'm always taking verbal surveys from people on my team or who I'm building with. How do you think this moved? How do you think that moved? You know, it's important. It's super important. Um, move, go in a specific direction or manner, right? So when we talk about moving out of our comfort zone, that means we're going to go in a specific direction, in a specific manner. We're going to sometimes have to change our position. Some of us has been stuck in the mud of life, in a situation that's daunting, in a situation that has not propelled us to grow. We have to change our position. And when we change our position, then we will make progress, right? Sometimes when we talk about getting out of that comfort zone, we have to develop a particular pattern and how we're going to operate, right? What direction are you going into? And then when you say you're going into a direction, that means it's a specific destination that you're heading to. It's a specific place that you're going to. It's a specific position once you get there that you have to take ownership of. And once you get to that place, there's a particular mindset that you have to have. Listen, when we stay in a state of a comfort zone, that means we're stagnant. And I, I, I've i said this on a different podcast show. We think about water and uh, like a lake or a river or whatever. <clears throat> and if, if you've ever been around a stagnant part of water that does not move, it is a bad smell. OK. And, and so it is with our life, our business, our leadership capacity. If we're just staying still, there's no flow, no fluid movement either way. We're just stagnant. It doesn't give off a good fragrance when you're building your business because we're stagnant. We're immobile. We're stuck. Right. And so I hope that this podcast helps someone to get unstuck because don't trip no longer. If you didn't get that invite to the table, you need to build your own table. Let that be the force, the driving force for you to build your own table. Sometimes we're waiting for things to fall in our lap and that's just not it. And if it hasn't fallen in your lap, that means to me that I know you have the capability of building your own table. And actually, that is what you've been called to do because you are a builder. I speak to every leader that's listening to the show now or later that you are a leader and leaders build. Bottom line, leaders build and we build and we we, we um, help each other. To, to, to learn what their capabilities and, and capacity is, right? Because as you build, you're going to unlock doors for other individuals. That's how it's supposed to work. We're not just building to say, hey, look at me, build. No, we're building to let someone else know, listen, I can do it. You can do it. We can do it together. So what is your capacity? What is your capacity? How are you building, right? How are you building and what is your capacity? What is your capacity and how you're building, Because, see, sometimes we're not building to our capacity. Sometimes we may be building, but we got one foot in and one foot out. Which one are you? Are you all the way in or are you halfway in and halfway out? Which one are you? Listen, we know as we're building, there's going to be stumbling blocks. There's going to be challenges. There's going to be hurdles. There's going to be hindrances that come with the building process. It just comes with it. Right. And so I you know, just wanted to drop a word of encouragement this morning to tell you to keep building. And if you haven't gotten that seat at the table, don't let that stop you. This is your season. This is your moment of opportunity. Listen, I see open doors for everybody that's listening to this show. Open doors of possibilities, open doors of opportunities. That is what I see. Anyone that may need some assistance around strategic planning, business development, send me an email, ct at katherinetrotter.com. Of course, my website is www.katherinetrotter.com. I would love to build with you. I would love to work with you. Again, don't worry that you didn't get that invite at the table. This is your season to build like never before. One year from now, where do you want to see yourself? I want you to think about that. One year from now, where do you see yourself? And I'm telling you, whatever that thing is that you see, it's all going to be hinged on your you building because you have to build it. So if one year from now, fast forward, you don't see what you see now. It's because you didn't go to work. It's because you didn't build. So from this point forward, go forth and build like never before. And I'm going to see everybody at the top.